guys. Figured I'd talk to you a little bit today about some real shit. Uh, um, we need to start thinking about. Uh, I mean, there's some studies that have came out recently from uh, quite a few scientists, and the problem that we got going on is that uh, they're saying that even if we stop right now using all fossil fuels and everything that we got going on, we're going to have about a 16 foot uh, rise in sea levels and uh, if we don't stop using what we're using now this is they're saying within the next 50 years if we don't stop using this uh, fossil fuel the way we are now which obviously it can't hold up it's going to slow down but if we just keep building cars and using you know rubber and tearing up the environment um, we're looking at in a hundred years a 65 foot increase in the sea levels so even if we do like stop now we're still gonna have 16 feet you know which means in the next 50 years most of the countries are gonna be gone you know with a 16 foot increase you know because it's gonna be more than that obviously you know nobody's gonna then these companies that are making money off of oil and and everything are not going to stop um, doing oil, obviously. So people are just going to keep buying cars, acting like it's not a problem, and then one day they're going to realize it is, and it's going to be too late. It's already too late now. You know, the way they're saying that there's nothing we can do. No matter what we do, we're going to get a 16-foot increase right now. You know, and obviously we're not going to stop, like I say, so it's going to be even more than that. But, uh, you know, you, you're looking at, like, uh, losing, uh, you know, Tokyo, uh, Okinawa, uh, Cuba, Jamaica, you know, uh, Florida, uh, Virginia, Boston, New York, California, Oregon, you know, all these all these places are going to be gone. Plus, you got the inlet waterways like M Mississippi, you know, the Mississippi uh, uh, River is going to flood. You know with with sea levels that kind of a rise in sea levels so obviously anything around uh, Mississippi uh, is gonna be gone you know and uh, 65 feet a lot of people don't realize that's a big thing imagine having Katrina with a 65 foot increase in the sea levels what would what do you think is gonna happen how about here like here in Japan when we had the thing in Tokyo a couple of years ago you know, if there was a 16-foot increase and then there was a 20-foot swell, you know, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> you know, and that's basically what we're looking at because of what we got going on, you know. We've, we're not going to stop, you know, people aren't going to stop and, you know, that's, that's why uh, I, you know, I think people need to stop thinking as much about what am I going to do if I don't have a child or, you know, because as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't want to bring a child into this because we're looking at this is something we're going to actually be able to see because I'm 42. So if I live to be another 60 years old, you know, which would only be like 102 years old, basically, in, in my lifetime, I'm going to see countries disappear. I'm going to see sea levels rise by at least 16 to 20 feet in my lifetime, you know. So I'm going to see countries like Cuba underwater. I'm going to see countries like half of Japan being gone, you know. I'm going to see things like that disappear. Florida, gone, you know. 16 feet, there's no mountains in Florida. So when you think about 16 feet, 16 feet in Florida, gone. Orlando, gone. Everything gone, you know. Disneyland, Disney World, whatever, gone. Both of them are probably gone. You know, because one's in California, the other's in Florida. Both gone, you know, with a 65-foot increase. So, you know, in the next 100 years, that's that's huge, you know. And people will keep denying it, but they're only denying it, not because it's not true. They're denying it because it's profits. They don't want to They don't want to lose that money. You know, there's, there's billions more dollars to be made. Uh, well, the problem is, is... We have 7 billion people on the planet, and it's unsustainable right now. So what's going to happen is uh, people are going to start dying off. Uh, land mass that's available to uh, grow fruit 
and vegetables, you know, is going to disappear. You know, it's going to get less and less. And less and less people are going to want to eat meat because that grain and that feed could be used to feed humans, not animals. You know, because that's what we're doing now. We're tearing down tons and tons of rainforest every day to feed animals so that we can eat them. You know, so when that when we start running out of this uh, this uh, land because of the uh, increase in water, because if you think about it, where does most fruit and vegetables come from during the winter months? You know, in America, it comes from California. You know comes from Hawaii, you know, comes from uh, South America, comes from Florida. They're going to be underwater, you know, so no more food, no more bananas, you know, no bur no more bananas in, in like December, you know. How are you going to get bananas in December when the place where they grow the bananas is underwater, you know. So this is what we're looking at, and this is like a real thing, you know. This isn't something that like two or three scientists have been have talked about. This is something that literally thousands of scientists have come to a conclusion on the data that they have right now. And we've already got, if you look at the uh, southern oceans and you look at some uh, some uh, southern uh, countries, there's a country that was on Discovery Channel. I watched it on YouTube not too long ago. I'll see if I can't find it. I'll put it in the description below. Um, where they already have uh, they're already having to leave and everybody's leaving because the water has already rose so much that the city is getting flooded and they're actually literally everybody is having to sandbag because the, the, the sea has rose so much and this was back in like 2013 this is two years ago you know so we aren't seeing it because we're in the in the center but above and below that's where you're going to be seeing it because uh, the polar caps are melting and the water is just rising and rising and rising and and uh, you know it's nobody nobody seems to want to stop using fossil fuels and try to go to uh, solar and wind and electric cars and things like that you know so I just thought I'd come on and uh, talk about that I've got some more videos after this where I'll uh, show you uh, what I was talking about. I went down to the Suma Beach today and uh, or the Suma area, not the beach, but the Suma area to show you like uh, what I was talking about. Basically the that entire area is going to be gone. So um, yeah, I'll go there next. So yeah. Okay, if you can see here, this is our wall that we have for typhoons and uh, stuff out here in the ocean. This is in the Suma area, basically, the area that's going to be gone. Um, this wall right here is, is probably about 12 feet high. So we're looking at, at basically uh, losing most of Japan, uh, moves, losing all of Florida, um, losing uh, Hawaii, uh, you know, Boston, New York, uh, Florida, all these things in the next 50 years. And that's if we stop right now. The problem that we have is obviously they're not going to stop. So what they're saying is in the next 100 years that we're going to have a 65 feet increase. Now the problem that we're going to have is in the next 100 years, or say in the next 60 years, if, if uh, we keep using fossil fuels the way we are right now, we're going to lose most of our countries, you know, most of the people in the countries, everything. So 65 feet, you know, we're on the beach right here. That building isn't even 65 feet tall, you know. So 65 feet is a little less than the building that's right there, the apartment complex, you know. So we're looking at, at water being all the way up to, like, the mountain right there you know that's 65 feet in the next hundred years which means Japan's gonna be gone anyways so even though they're having problems with their birth rates and stuff like that over here it's not really gonna matter you know 
because the country is going to be gone anyways with our use of fossil fuels, you know. So, you know, if you look over here, like that building right there, that building right there is only about 15 feet tall. So we're looking at a 16 foot increase in the next 50 years, which means the water is going to be one foot above that.